Hey everyone, in today's video, we are creating an office space. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Marianne. I live in Canada with my husband and two kids, ages three and four, and I make videos on simplifying motherhood through organizing, decluttering, and budgeting. And in today's video, we are doing a mini makeover on our office space. I use the term office space loosely. It's more of an area for all of our office equipment. So right behind me, you'll see, this is in the middle of our family room. We have like a little setup with a little desktop computer, a desk and a chair. However, we've never really utilized it. The desktop computer was a hand-me-down. We actually normally use our laptop. So this has become a bit of a dead space and it's kind of an eyesore in the middle of our family room. However, we do need a space for our equipment. Ideally, we need a space where the kids cannot access it. The plan is, is we have a closet in our basement that we're going to do a little mini makeover on. I'm gonna take you with me today and show you how we can create a space um, without spending any money and hopefully it works really well for us. So before we go downstairs, let me just show you this little office area. We bought everything secondhand. That chair, I actually love this chair. It's comfortable and it's super cute. I think it's Ikea. So we just have our desktop and then we just tucked in a keyboard in behind because we don't want the kids touching it. So although it's in theory, it could have worked, it just hasn't been working for us. So we're gonna try to kind of see what we can do about moving all of this down into the basement. So I'm gonna take you down there now and show you what we're looking at. Okay guys, prepare for the worst. <laughs> Keep expectations very low. So I did say it's a closet and it is a closet. You can see it's kind of at the moment just a mismatch, mishmash. We have our vacuum, our fan, our, I have my wedding dress in here. Just some random storage things we threw on top. We also had a hook here. We had a central vac, which we've gotten rid of. We can take those hooks off, put them somewhere else. I'm planning to get rid of this pole. This shelf, I think I'm gonna keep potentially for our printer or maybe just extra storage. And I'm plan is to keep paint all of it white. We have some primer that we've left, have left over from when we redid our bedroom. So I'm thinking maybe of just using that. So first things first is just clearing out this closet, getting everything out and making sure that desk fits in here. First and foremost, I think it's time to get started guys. Let's do it. So as I mentioned, all of this, this hardware, we took it off here. And since then we've actually already reinstalled it into our garage and we use it for all of our like brooms and everything in there. And it's worked awesome. One other thing I don't show in the video, but that we created was see the shelf that was already existing, um, which is kind of just above my head there. Scott actually went ahead and we created a second shelf just below that. And you can't tell when it's once it's all together, but we just had a piece of wood in the garage. We added some really simple brackets that again, we just had from an, an old project, spray painted everything, the, the brackets white and the wood white, and it looks really, really good. And then we just use it for extra storage. Smells what? It smells really great. <laughs> huh. 
Another thing I want to mention is that for the supplies and the paint and everything, we really didn't spend a single dime. So the, the primer, we didn't even have white paint, but we had white primer left over. So we use that for the actual like walls and the shelves. And then you'll see here that Scott spray painted the, um, the ductwork. And again, that was spray paint we just had from an old project and it worked so, so well. It actually made this like him spray painting that made me want to spray paint all the ductwork down there, which I have seen before. So we might be doing that in the future. Hey guys, all the painting, all that kind of stuff is done. It is hopefully our final day. Hopefully we're just gonna put everything together, set up the desk, set up all of our storage, and just create an organized space to keep everything in one spot, easy to access, easy to find, and that we love the look of as well. So I'm gonna take you with me as I place things. So let's get started, do it. Oh guys, this rug. Okay, I love, love, love this rug. However, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I want, didn't want to spend any money. Unfortunately, I did have to buy two items. This rug is one of it, one of the items. I had to buy it brand new. I could not find anything. All the stores here have been closed um, as they are in a lot of the world right now. And um, so I finally eventually had to buy something online and it was $30, which I found so expensive, <laughs> but I think it really did tie the project together. So I'm glad I did it. The other thing I bought was these two baskets, the two kind of matching baskets, um, my vision board. Uh, the two baskets were, I did buy secondhand and they were $20 for the set of the pair. And again, like I think that's expensive, but it was fine. So overall we did spend $50, um, which was $50 more than I wanted to spend, but it turned out so well that I'm fine with it. And Everything else you'll see that I've been using is uh, everything that we already had in the house that I just utilized. Hey guys, overall, I'm so happy. You know when you have a vision for something it actually just works out? Hit this basket. Um, I just have like little notebooks, little piece of paper, and less where I'm gonna keep like pens and markers and stuff like that. I had that frame. I love this, life whispers, listen closely. And I just printed that off. Honestly, it's just a Word document, threw it in there. And again, these flowers we have that we use for like birthdays and special occasions or this where they'll kind of live from now on. And then we can take them out when we need them. These little labels, all I did was use little um, like cardstock paper I had, these little stickers. Um, are from the dollar store I just put them on and then this actually ribbon the string I had was left over from like these little notebooks I got from the dollar store it's a great size basket it's kind of perfect really all that tech stuff that's hanging around these are my little binders I love three ring binders the second basket up there with all Scott stuff in his label paper for a printer this little paper tray it's actually two of them but I like the look of them layered this printer I'll try to link it below I'm obsessed with it I love this printer I was so on the fence about getting a printer and I'm so glad we did because we use it constantly another couple little things I want to show 
Scott put a hook just inside here. This is a bag I have for my tripod that I use for making these videos. And um, I wasn't sure if it's gonna work, but I love it. So I think I'm gonna ask him to make another one either up higher or on the other side of like behind me on the other side of the door. And then the other last thing to note is these handles. So as you sh as I showed you, I spray painted them black and I love the look of them, they're so cute. This is the second shelf that Scott added, which also I was really happy we did. Super basic brackets, which we also just spray painted white to match. So overall, I just love, love, love it. It's gonna be a perfect kind of drop zone, storage area to keep everything organized everything together and I think it's gonna just work amazing for us. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Okay guys, it's done. Our office space is finished. Thank you much, so much for joining us. I hope this gives you some ideas for your space and thank you for watching and I will see you next time.